Hi guys, welcome to Undercliff Cemetery here in Bradford in the north of England, Yorkshire Look at these um, half crypt things Very unusual So the cemetery was built in 1851 it's a classic sort of Victorian monuments nobody here just me and the dead it's a bit like the one at um, Utley isn't it the smelly mausoleum on a kind of tier system Uh, sandy coloured one. Very uh, neoclassical. Berens, I think. See, if that was a um, piece of. Well, it is a piece of art, isn't it? But if that was like a sculpture or something, it'd be in a museum by now. That's why I love these places. Free entry, loads of art, stories about people in the past. Not just all about being morbid. And this one, look at the dome on the top. Holden, Holden mausoleum. I can already see it's just um, a slab directly behind the door nothing really to see check out the back oh it's not very deep that, that explains the slab behind the door is this safe? oop, nope Thought it wasn't back pretty plain. It's a bit of a mess round here. The Baron's one's uh, double sided though. Very degree lovers. Very nice. Bloody wind tunnel down here. Sorry for swearing. Yeah. I love the top on this one. Joseph Brown wood stapler. Died at Markham, not wool stapler, sorry. Whatever a wool stapler is. Not gonna Google it, I know you guys um, like to discover things. Look how far it is down there. Yeah, it's all about interaction, if you guys learn things from here and drop it in the comments that's exactly how I want the channel to be Does that makes sense look at these three ends that's cool and this big old obelisk this is huge William Sharp Fishmonger 1896 he died Wow. William Sharp again must be his son and Emma his wife. <coughs> Thought it was a fox then.
check this creepy one out under the tree. There's a mark of respect to Walter Scott from employees of Scott and Son. Column cut short. So we're right at the other end now. So we're going to go back that way. But um, I'm probably going to go through here. And um, get off the beaten path. It's like a separate kind of burial ground here, look. We've all got the same stone. Probably all worked at the same uh, mill or something. Got like a slight coffin shape to them. That's uh, nine months. So they wouldn't work at a mill, would they? I guess it's just the couple of years. Oh no, adult ones as well. Interesting. So granite and sandstone combination one. James Burnley, who's a contractor, died eighteen sixty one. John Charles, medical pupil, died when he was 17. Oh man, 1864. Might be some more occupations around here. William Whitley, who was oh, another wool stapler, 1860. And Francis, 1870. Uh, survived him for 10 years. John Cluderay, corn factor, 1863. No idea what a corn factor is either. A corn factory worker. John Jonathan Gibson, another contractor. Uh, 1858 he died. Hmm. It's just good isn't it when there's um, occupations, it just gives you an idea of the how the town was and what everyone's involvement was. Another wool stapler, 1870. Gonna venture off the beaten path, off the beaten path's beaten path into this. Let's see what we can find. I've seen an interesting one with um. Oh God, look at that! That one there. It's got um. Curtains and then something round on it. Look, sticks poking out. Is that um is that an artist palette and brushes maybe? Margaret Wernsnop. And I think I can see <coughs> quite a few of these owner graves. Mary A. Gath. Gath. It's pretty cool. Pretty posh one that. Oh, it's like a hand. Huh. And uh, I think there's one over there. Look. Yeah, this is going to be one as well. Pickles owner. It's 
cool. Very, very posh ones. Usually they're quite, uh, quite plain. That'll be one as well, but to, uh, you know what I mean? Another couple here are first. They're just so cool, aren't they? Just miniatures. And this one's uh, got even more detail on it, especially around the edge. Don't know what that is in the middle, though. Yeah, so. Oops. Bit of a bit of a jungle in there. Look at this. Hand on head, elbow on books. What does that mean? <coughs> Martha, the beloved wife of John Robertshaw. And another owner, a bit plainer. W. Graham, still a nice find. Eugenia Fanny, wife of E.S. Lasser, 1863. Really cool canopy tomb. I think it's marble, isn't it? Worn away, but still nice. Oh, look at that blue one over there. Or the blue relief, even. William Mawson with his awesome Mawson monument architect of Bradford 1889 William oh William and Mary Mawson I thought it was I thought it was called William Mary Mawson look at that very very nice Look at this gem. Wow. Marble again. Look, can you see the baby? There's its head. There's its arm. Cradled by its mother. It's incredible. William Henry Solicitor, their beloved son. Oh, I, th I thought the baby was a solicitor then, that's not the, the baby, is it? Um, also, Catherine, wife of William Wagstaff Barlow. Sarah Elizabeth, their infant child, born February 6th, died April 23rd, I think, 1859. So that'll be probably the baby in the sculpture. Not the solicitor. There's quite a few uh, names on it. Janie or Fanny Elizabeth. Woodlands Middleton on something. Yeah, loads of different names. That is 
is incredible. Well, obviously a grave. Could be a monument. This one down the other end wasn't the a monument to um, a mill worker's, a mill owner's employees. Not another owner. Ronsley. Go back this way. Stick to the path. Charles, is that say comedian? Charles Pies? Charles P Rice comedian? Wow. Many years the manager of the Theatre Royal Bradford. 18, 1880, age 60. Well, I'd never seen a comedian's grave. Well, I guess there are some, but never from the Victorian times. I like this one. Frederick Johnson, timber merchant, 1870. It's nice, isn't it? Merchant of Timber. Oh, it's an impossible to read granite. Got a little QR code down there, but um, can't be asked. Joseph Smith, the rest is worn anyway. And that's just um, too hard to read. Oh well, we made it at least. There's a big pile of something over there. With rocks in it. Yep, we found the cemetery dump. Hope oh, there's not um, a lot of headstones in it. Oh, I can see one there. A part of one, isn't it? There's um, one underneath that big slab, and that that's definitely part of a headstone. Not a good look, Bradford. Another big chunk there of sandstone. I wonder what else is in here. Carrier bags, looks like some old cobbles. Like bottles, bricks, big one there. Over this way. Oh, there's a grave. Look in the. Oh, what's this? Like a coffin liner. It's the right colour. Hmm. 
and this big headstone in the brambles, another one underneath it. Not a good law, oh, there's one look. Dumped. So disrespectful. I mean what is it? Do you get um is it a hundred years and then you your grave can be dug up and then your headstone moved to make space for the next batch? Got all this. Sandstone, granite cobble. Massive wasp. Oh god, that's huge. I just hope I don't see... Oh look. It's one of them um, things to put your flowers in, the lid for it. That's not very old, is it? Let's get up and have a look. That's a shaped stone, that one. Can't see much more, it's just all rubble, isn't it? But I guess um, you'd hide the big stuff underneath, wouldn't you? I would. Bags, crisps. Yeah, like I said, all cemeteries have one, but um, it is kind of out the way, isn't it? But um, not good luck. Cremation all the way for me, thank you. Not going to end up in a rubbish pile or in a mass grave underneath someone's bum, squashed in. have thought a decorator would um, be such a high profile job. John Leeming, machine maker, 1834. Wonder what type of machines? Spinning mill machines probably. Could be coal, boilers, all sorts. So we'll just have um, another look at these uh, little crypts, but there are people down there visiting the graves, so I'll have to be a bit discreet. So there we go, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching guys. Hopefully see you on the next one.